Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the beautiful Corf Castle in Dorset. I am in the area for a long weekend. It's my birthday. This guy has turned 40. And I just thought, do you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to properly test out this camera bag that Lopro have sent me. Um, I reached out to them because essentially, if you haven't seen my previous video, which I called my camera bag addiction, I have admittedly too many camera bags, but they're all missing something. And the, those features are in this bag, which I'll get into in a little bit. Uh, so essentially, I am here for a long weekend. I have rammed this camera bag full of all of my camera gear for a long weekend of photography and making YouTube videos. And I'm just gonna see how it performs. Okay, meanwhile, because we've got clear blue skies, I think when, once the sun comes up, I'm not gonna have much opportunity to photograph the castle. So I'm gonna concentrate on the photography and then we'll get into the bag. Okay, you can probably see here that the uh, castle is now very strongly in the light, but because I can't really get a composition without the sky in it, I'm going to have to move. Okay, so I've got a slightly better vantage point here now. I've come higher up where this sty is, right at the top. So by coming up to the highest point of West Hill, I can now completely cut out the sky. Obviously, if you come here and you get mist or different conditions, then you obviously have to adapt to what you're doing. But already, really happy with some of the images that I've got. Yeah, what a lovely morning. Now, I mentioned earlier that there were two things that my existing camera bags don't do that this one does. Okay, so the first one is, I was looking for quick side access for a camera. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, I heavily promote having your camera readily available as much as possible. I just think it increases your chances of getting a shot. Sometimes it's down to laziness, um, because you think, can I be bothered to put my camera bag down? get the camera out. So if it's on a strap or if it's on a capture clip or something like that, that's gonna increase your chances of actually getting your camera out. So the criteria for that side access was generous space. Now, because of the depth of this bag, the side door is now massive. So essentially, you can easily just open it up and you'll see that the side axis is very, very generous. Now, if you're like me and you do a lot of seascape photography, then you don't want to put your camera bag down a lot of the time. So if I was down on the beach, wet sand all around me, I want to get my camera out. I don't have to put it down. I want a camera bag with side access. So I'm straight in there, I've got my camera out, nice and easy. And then didn't have to put my camera bag down at all. See, that was the first criteria. Now the second criteria is, should I have to put my camera bag down? All of my other cameras are accessible from the front, okay? Now, this is not a new invention. Lots of other camera bags do this, but this camera bag is accessible from the back. So the zip is right up against my back. I think there's a couple of benefits of that. First of all, security. Nobody can come up and steal my camera from the back if I was on a train or if I was in a queue somewhere, someone just can't unzip or unclip anything and get to my camera. The second benefit of that is if you put your camera bag down on its back and I was down on the beach or like, let's just say for example, I was in front of Corf Castle, the floor was all frosty and wet, which it is, and I put my camera bag down on the back. Now when I come to put that camera bag back on, I'm gonna get wet back. It's not the end of the world if you get a bit of frost on you, but then if you do that enough, you're just gonna get a muddy back, aren't you? Yeah, so I'd say they were the two criteria for why I got this bag. Now this is 
the 450 AW2. This is obviously a sizable camera bag. Everybody that I've shown it to, friends and photographers, have said, ah, that's a big bag you've got there, Ben. And that was deliberate. So I'll check on their website and I'll see if there are other sizes available. Um, but I purposefully went out to find a camera bag that could accommodate lots of camera gear. So as you can see, this is the Pro Tactic BP 450 AW2 and I am in Dorset for a, a long weekend so I've rammed this full of everything. Uh, starting on the outside you'll see I've put a 360 camera in there however I would also put my tripod in there and uh, the good thing is that the way that these velcro attachments work because it's got these I don't know what they're called, but they are really, really clever. This allows you to just put these straps, this attachment, this water bottle attachment, you can put it anywhere. So if you don't want a water bottle on that side of the bag, you can put it there. You can put your tripod on the side. Uh, this also acts as side access, but you've got side access on that side, and you've also got side access on that side. So I've configured this to how I want to use it. But So on the outside, you've got these robust buckles that you can put anywhere you like. You've got side pouch there, not got anything in that. I've got a waterproof uh, cover for my camera in that one. In the top, I have got my Mavic 2 drone which has still got plenty of space around it, but this is a particularly big drone. If you had a smaller drone, you wouldn't even need to put it in the top at all. And then I've got my Canon R8, which is what I was filming on earlier. And I've got a microphone in there. But this top compartment, if you didn't put the drone in there, that folds down and you can put a good size camera in there with the lens attached. Really, really nice size uh, zips. Like this morning it's really cold, I could hardly feel my fingers. So this is the sort of thing you want on a cold day like today. Good zips that you can really just get hold of. The zips are the same everywhere. So on the side compartments, it's the same zips. So that's the top compartment. Now, if we get into the main compartment, you lift up the straps like so. Another sizable zip down there like so and then you're into the main compartment. So I wanted to show you this, it gives you an idea of how much stuff you can fit in here. And in reality, you see these dividers, they, the dividers all come with the bag. I've probably got another 10 dividers, but as you can see, if that drone wasn't in that compartment, that would flap down and you can see it's that classic T-shape of where you put a camera. Now this is the camera that I'm using for the side axis, I'll show you that in a second. Um, but just to give you an idea of how much stuff I've put in here, I've got two drone batteries in there. Uh, they are the DJI microphones, so that's another box. But that's the size of a lens, that's the size of a lens, that's the camera with a sizable lens attached. And if I didn't have that divider there, I've managed to fit a full frame uh, DSLR and the lens hood attached and that all goes in there. This is a sizable camera bag. Because of the depth of the bag, you don't have to put lenses sideways. You can put them end on. That is a DJI Pocket 3 uh, accessories kit, which is what I'm filming on now. I've got some filters. I've got a external battery pack, DJI Mavic 2 Pro, the controller, which is sizable. That just slots in there. I could probably fit two of those or something else in there. And then again, you can fit a big camera in the top. That's what you can fit in here, plus more. You can see all the gaps around here. On the back, you've got one of these suitcase uh, levers. There is a waterproof cover that is integrated into that, and that's actually attached to the bag, so you can't lose that. That's good. Lots of padding. Space for a laptop, which I have fit my 15-inch MacBook into. It's not in here at the moment. It's back in the hotel. And you've got a few places for, I've got cleaning cloths, remote control, and you can put some filters and everything in there. There you go, and that is a tour of the bag itself. Now I'm trying not to get in the way of the microphone, but there is an adjustable chest strap. And when I say adjustable, you can adjust it in terms of its width there. Plus this actually slides up and down. So let's just say you were filming and you want the chest strap to be a bit lower. You can see you can just move that down a bit, which is really handy. And then obviously you've got the uh, adjustable waist strap as well, which if you're carrying lots and lots of gear, you'll really appreciate that because it's way more comfortable.
It was pretty busy here this morning with photographers, but they have all but packed up now because, uh, like I said, blue skies, very harsh lighting, and uh, time to move on, I think. Now, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now. I'd probably say four to six weeks in a variety of situations. I've been out shooting woodland photography with it. I've been out at night shooting fireworks and I've also been down to the beach um, and it has performed really well. Aesthetically, I think it looks really cool. It's got that tactical look about it because it's got all of those uh, really nicely woven uh, ribbed sections on the back that you can attach things to. I think that's really cool. It's got lots of flexibility. You can set it up however you like. Like I said, I've got loads of um, the internal dividers just not being used right now because of how I've got this set up today. Nice frosty start to the day. Winter is finally here. Now, it wouldn't be fair to make a video without talking about the negatives. I have found one annoying feature, but it's just one. When you put the bag down upright, it does not stay standing it will always fall backwards. I know that there are other camera bags that kind of address this, and this isn't a new camera bag, so maybe if they were to um, update this design then they would fix that. But essentially, I'll put all of my camera bag equipment in the bag, and it doesn't matter whether or not it's balanced inside if you were to equally space things around. No matter what I do, this thing always falls over, and it's annoying because uh, it's obviously valuable equipment inside the camera bag. Otherwise, it's an awesome camera bag. Definitely going to be using it all the time. You'll be seeing this bag a lot more in my videos. Uh, if you've got any questions, then let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.